Amazon's really going to try and own pretty much everything, at least have their fingers dipped into every market that they possibly can. And this one here is big, or I guess it probably would have been big in like the fucking 80s when MGM used to crank out good movies because boy howdy has it been a long time and what they are buying and what they bought is a fucking shell of its former self. Listen, MGM used to be one of the big movie houses out there, along with like Warner Brothers and uh, maybe even Disney. Uh, MGM is just a shell of its former self. Like what is Amazon buying for $8.54 billion? That might seem like a lot of money, but it's on par of what like Egypt and Jordan and Pakistan are getting in foreign aid for the year. And honestly, if Rocky and James Bond were kicking on all or firing on all cylinders, or if that Robocop remake bleh, fucking took off, yeah, that might be a little bit more significant than what fucking Microsoft bought Bethesda for. Christ, you can see that they're the big M ended up buying them for under a fucking shade under a billion dollars less than that and there's far more opportunity of what they can crank out of that than what Amazon can crank out of the, the floundering properties that they're getting from MGM because as much as I don't like to be a Wikipedia scholar what is the last thing that they've cranked out like just look at their upcoming films and we're going to get into the fucking disaster piece that No Time to Die is going to be because like I pointed out before I do love me some Daniel Craig 007 okay I think Skyfall is a is a good movie, okay? If I was to, I don't know, give it one of those arbitrary out of 10 rankings, I'd probably give it a 7. It was a fun watch, but it's not something that I've gone back to and watched anytime soon. It's just a fucking cool-looking poster. That's about it, right? Opposed to The Godfather, which is one of the greatest films ever made, but I prefer Casino Royale, like most normal human beings. I think that was probably the peak, and quite possibly one of my favorite modern films, which was released in 2006, which should tell you something about my opinion of the state of modern media. That's likely to change either, because, okay, look what MGM has coming out. Like, okay, what immediately hops off the page? The Creed 3 in uh, November of 2022? Like, okay, everybody kind of liked Creed, the original one, but then after people started to tear into the plot, it was just like a really shitty retail retelling of the initial Rocky, and the only thing that's kind of lingered when it comes to praise out of that film is the performance of Sylvester Stallone, who is quite an underrated actor because everybody knows him as like Rambo just turned people into jelly in the forest and it just he got a funny accent to make fun of but the original Rocky is quite possibly the best sports film of all time so the dude can act and he can still act and he's definitely propped up that shambling corpse of a franchise okay legally blonde three what the fuck was wreath Reese Witherspoon gonna fucking join the Supreme Court? Like, what the fuck was Legally Blonde to begin with? Okay, the first one was fine. I remember watching it a couple of times. And the second one was hot trash. So, what's the point of three? Whatever, other than just milking products. Um, No Time to Die. Uh, Candyman. Oh, it's just another Jordan Peele project. So, it's just gonna be another one of these, oh, my racism allegories with just a thinly veiled social commentary yeah get out and us were fucking tragic stories overrated to the moon and black or moon and back <laughs> Freudian slip what have they put out what ha what have they put out a star is born yeah people like that but do you remember anything about it and that was 2018 uh oh oh right a new tomb raider movie is coming in the works because the first one came out with a complete and total whimper you could reboot the ben-hur franchise if you want uh you get a hot tub time machine three that'd be cool how about pink 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 Panther 3, wouldn't that be fun? Don't you remember those Steve Martin abortions that came out into the theater? Oh my god, Inspector Clouseau could get uh, recast as Seth Rogen and they could go out on a big adventure and wouldn't that be funny? No, they probably just bought that so that um, their Amazon's upcoming Lord of the Rings television show won't be the worst Middle Earth property that they own because they've got the rights to the Hobbit trilogy. Oh yeah, MGM um, should have went for a hell of a lot more money than 8.5 four or five billion dollars and it's just amazon just trying to buy up everything that's available because well they have their fingers in literally everything and i don't care about anything that they have coming out and maybe the people were right at the time and they were criticizing daniel craig for being the wrong casting for bond because as much as i love casino royale that was 2006 that was a long fucking time ago okay maybe you shouldn't have given up the idea of the author of 
Ian Fleming's image of James Bond as a rugged, brown-haired Englishman. Maybe you shouldn't give that. You shouldn't have given that up. Yeah, crack the door open with just. Oh, he just has blonde hair. What's the difference? He's, he's got the look. He'll be fine. Now you're gonna end up with the current cast, which has got yeah Daniel Craig, who is the last person on Earth who wants to play Bond at this point, which I don't know why, but yeah, he just doesn't want to be there. That's just a picture and. A perfect encapsulation of his appearance. And then you got Rami Malek, who's going to be the bad guy, apparently, who looks like one of those goldfish, or if you squeeze his tail hard enough, his eyes just pop out. And I got this relatively attractive woman, who I would run over in a bus to get with that one. Holy fuck. And then you got Ray Fiennes, who's, yep, yeah, just a great actor, and he's playing M. And then you got the brand new 007. Yes, I'm, I'm not fucking with you. Lashana Lynch is going to be taking over for Daniel Craig. 8.45 billion dollars fucking disaster <laughs> amazon has sealed the deal to snap up metro goldwyn mayer for 8.45 billion dollars the two companies announced a joint statement wednesday with the acquisition being amazon's second biggest ever company boldest foray into entertainment industry yeah it won't stop there it won't stop there because they've tried to do some of their own in-home video game ventures and the one that they put out there was so bad that they had to pull it back in order to work on it again and it just got fucking turfed so square enix watch your pockets i'd imagine you're gonna get snapped up in the near-ish future and just throwing that out there it's not like i know anything about it but you know it's possible it's possible the acquisition which is subject of regulatory approvals and other customary closing conditions amazon hopes to leverage mgm's catalog oof, of some 4,000 films and 17,000 television shows to help bolster amazon studios in its streaming war with competitors like disney who owns hulu and netflix hmm interesting what do you think the odds are that google buys up netflix and uh integrates it in with youtube i was prepping for this segment that's what i was kind of thinking it's like okay netflix sticks out like a stiff prick in a whorehouse in this one because disney owns hulu disney plus is an exclusive platform for disney shows and then anything that they have that's 14 plus or rated r or whatever just gets shuffled off onto hulu and they have their own little subsection of abc espn products over there so disney owns the entire world google does as well and amazon they're one of the three of the five biggest companies in the world so it wouldn't really you know grab me by the short curlies if netflix gets acquired in the next half decade the real financial value behind this deal is a treasure trove of ips which is ooh, a staggering list like we took a look at in uh, the deep catalog and what we plan to um, reimagine and develop together with mgm's talented team you are stuck with a black female bond sucks to suck said mike hopkins senior vice president of prime video and amazon studios in a statement it's very exciting and provides so many opportunities for high quality storytelling <laughs> you guys aren't concerned about that you're just only carry about content you don't give a fuck about quality storytelling you just care about puking out the fucking 4,000 films 17,000 and tv shows that you're gonna have on there see look sign up for our uh, our content you can just watch through all of mgm's old great back catalog you know you remember all of those stories from the 70s you know you can watch the original robocop don't bother checking in on the new one but you can go back and watch old stories like death wish uh you like showgirls we got that now you want to watch a bond who actually gave a shit fire up some of those old roger moore ones Fuck off, Mike. MGM's vast catalog of films and television shows, which have collectively won over 180 Academy Awards. God, how fucking long has it been since they've actually mattered or won one? And 100 Emmys. Oh, fucking, and everybody stood up and clapped, including such icons as James Bond, oof, Robocop, yikes, and Rocky. Ugh, should have just stopped at Rocky Balboa. Kevin Ulrich, chairman of U... Er, MGM said in a statement that the deal represents a historic day that I no longer have to deal with this pile of shit. Oh, I'm sorry. That the opportunity to align MGM's storied history with Amazon is an inspiring combination. Formerly a humble book merchant has purchased one of the great pillars of Hollywood. That's an indictment of a statement if I've ever said one before. Deal puts Amazon on firmer footing in its bid to outcompete streaming service rivals who have spent billions expanding their content libraries. The announcement drew a critical reception on Capitol Hill from Representative Ken Buck, who is awfully vocal and super pissed that he's not in the chair that Elise Stefaniak is currently in, but hey... If he wants to continue to rile up the base, go for it. But he is deeply concerned by Amazon's acquisition of MGM. I'm not. Mostly because what has... Okay, in the past decade, 
What stories have Hollywood put out that are of any lingering substance that haven't been told a million times before? It's all reboots. It's all the same comic book superhero movie, or it's just a continuation, continuation and bastardization of a, a once cherished franchise. Like, I take a look at my media library, and what I can see right here is like, okay, uh, what what's come out since? We'll, we'll just go from 2000 onward. Like, okay, uh, of substance, what has come out? Christopher Nolan's Batman trilogy. Okay, um, great films in their own right, but, you know, they've aged like a glass of milk on the radiator. The Expendables, ugh. The Harry Potter saga, I love them. And they were cultural phenomenons, but nobody's clamoring for anything after what Fantastic Beasts just kind of fucking popped out onto the floor. We could continue to go on, but then I just look back at the old films that I still haven't watched or ones that I firmly enjoy and nothing's from, what, the past two decades. Like when it comes to comedy, would you rather watch 40 Year Old Virgin or would you rather watch Mrs. Doubtfire or Dumber and Dumber? Would you rather watch Superbad or Blazing Saddles? I don't know, perhaps I'm just a stodgy old fuck, but uh, I like my movies with original takes and coherent stories. I like old westerns, gangster movies, Sold swords and sandals epics, not these fucking deconstructive takes or these big CGI spectacular spectacles. And that's all you're gonna get. You're just gonna get this fucking rehash of once formerly adored franchises in order to just put up their schlock on their fucking streaming services. Oh, yeah, just give us 10 bucks a month. Don't worry, you won't notice it. Oh, you used to spend a whole hell of a lot more down there at Blockbuster. Don't worry about it. You're gonna get all of this content. You can never watch all of it, and you wouldn't really want to watch all of it because most of it's fucking shit, okay? Because for every Goodfellas that's out there, there's 150 fucking Zack Snyder films that are out there, so I'm not terribly concerned with this because, um, I think the general public's opinion on Hollywood blockbusters is turning anyways. They're pretty much done with whatever they're bullshitting out. And you know what? If there is this massive turn in public perception and you know what? Maybe the people who are going to be running this after the big shakeup happens, they do recommit to good storytelling and uh, quality products. Maybe it's good that Amazon's going to be able to give them the unlimited budget that they need in order to produce something great. Fucking fantastic. I just don't see the new stars coming up that'll end up filling those roles and creating the new stories and creating the brand new films that are out there that are just going to have the same lasting effect. That's why the television adaptation, the new one of The Lord of the Rings that Amazon is funding to the tune of nearly a half billion dollars, is going to fall on its face in comparison to the three tremendous Lord of the Rings films that came out in the early 2000s because one was crafted with passion, the other one is crafted as a malicious cash grab that just needs to appeal to a super wide audience and my diversity, therefore you need to have fucking black dwarves and transgender elves. But if they ever decide to reboot The Godfather and set it in South Central Los Angeles, I will fucking lose my goddamn mind. So that was a nice little detour from politics. It, it sort of politics infects literally everything and ruins it all, and that's kind of what you've seen with the downfall of MGM. But hey, it was a nice little detour nonetheless, and I thank you all very much for the gift of your time. I've been Don Gonzuelo. I want you to follow your gut and get after it. Take care, everyone.